welcome to another fan CNC TV. We have a two versus two on the map that I just forgot the name, but we have our players on the left side. Let's take a look. We have Matthew going as the vanilla nod, blue vanilla nod. He's beaconing already, beaconing here to get the spikes. Let's see, all right, his ally on his south side is Vice as the orange steel talons. So their enemies on the other side of the map is the purple, let's see who this is. It's the purple Zocom, Jimmy. Jimmy's allies to the north of him is the green vanilla nod. It's Daniel. So everyone's rushing for their tip spikes. Let me just double check. Yes. Did I do that right? No, it's Vice. Vice is Steel Talons. Vice is green. I'm sorry. That's that's my um that's my bad. So we have four players on this map. It's very small. It's quite a small map. Tip Spikes. This is actually my first commentary on this map. We have Blue Tiberium in these corners over here not fully grown but they will grow quickly during the match we got Tiberium spikes up in the corners down in these corner in this corner too so here we go so Matthew beaconing a lot in the early game Let's take a look so Matthew and Vice just on this top side they'll have to coordinate well versus their opponents, Daniel and Jimmy. Looks like Daniel. Daniel going out with some rocket squads. Wants to get these buildings, garrison these buildings. It's smart to garrison this building, maybe even this one too, so you can hold the middle ground. You also just need to protect your Tiberium spike. Daniel wants to take over this spike. This is gonna be an interesting, interesting match. They're gonna be on each other quick. You see how fast that blue Tiberium grows. All right, let's see how far everyone is. One refinery looks like a standard opening. Nobody going for crazy rushes. A lot of infantry from Daniel. Looks like Daniel is going for bikes. Three bikes. Matthew trying to get a scout off with two groups of infantry. Vice, let's see what he's going for. His Looks like his refinery was a bit further away from the uh, from the tip field. Only one harvester for Vice right now. Two harvesters for Vice. Ooh, he, he forgot to send this one to the uh, to the tip field. It's a bit of a waste. Let's see what Matthew is doing. Matthew with two refineries. So Matthew, the first one with two refineries, three three harvesters over here. Battle marker in the middle. Here we go. Gonna have some fire fights in the middle. So Jimmy, Jimmy has taken two buildings and Matthew having one garrison in the building. So they're gonna have just an exchange here in the middle that will take a while, but I expect Daniel to come with an engineer to try and take this one quick. There you go, so Matthew knows that he has to go and try to get that blue Tiberium also. He'll then have the choice, does he want to expand over here or does he want to expand over here? It's a bit early to expand here because he, the best thing is to let this blue Tiberium grow a bit more. So the Tiberium crystals will just be their full worth. There we go, okay, so Matthew is going for the blue tip instead of expanding over here. I would have expanded here actually, but okay, so he chooses to go for the blue Tiberium. This costs him a lot of time, that's the weakness, that's the downside of going all the way over here. But, ooh, he's gonna be in trouble over here. He's gonna be in trouble here. Daniel, look how fast this MCV is. Is he gonna lose this MCV? Ooh, Daniel might take down this MCV. Nope. Okay, so it turns into a building right now. He's gonna start repairing. He needs to start repairing, Matthew. Where's your repair? I think Matthew might lose his MCV. There he is. Okay, he repairs, but slowly. Okay, I expect some rocket soldiers to come out of this barracks quickly. No rocket soldiers being made yet. Battle marks over here, but here's the action. No rocket soldiers being made. Oh, so so slow. Okay, Shredder Turret comes down. 
and what Daniel had to do is reposition his bikes to this side. He has to reposition his bikes on the other side. Okay, Matthew is sending more. More reinforcements to take out the bikes. I know, we should have just repositioned your bikes on this side. And then you could have taken out this MCV. And what Daniel has to do now, he knows this MCV is low health. He has to send whatever he has. <gasps> no more ground army. He should have had maybe two scorpion tanks. And then two scorpion tanks would have been enough to take this out. He has only one bike. Okay, one bike goes veteran from Matthew. Let's continue his firefight over here. Let's see what Feist is doing. What's Feist up to now? Feist has two titans. So it looks like no pit bull rush in the beginning from Vice. Jimmy, what are you doing now? No choppers yet from Jimmy. This looks like the first hammerhead. No expansion of Jimmy to this blue Tiberium over here. No expansion yet. No, no first expansion. So this was a very risky move, Matthew. He did now heal his entire construction yard. I think he just sent an engineer to go inside here then if I was Matthew I would build some more base defense he did take this with some rocket soldiers so that's smart this is already free base defense right here Daniel what are you doing now Let's see oh Daniel didn't see Daniel and Jimmy did not see the tip spikes at the bottom oh that's a shame they didn't see the tip spikes this is just free money over here Let's see how many harvests Daniel has one Daniel should have more harvesters. Oh no, is this only one harvester that you have? What's this? Okay, he has some rocket soldiers over here, but his rocket soldiers then put it in here. And he has to put it up here. Oh man, this was a big opportunity for Daniel to take out Matthew's MCP in the early game. He's gonna lose his rocket squad. This infantry is gonna come and take out this group. Did Daniel really only have one harvester? Oh man, that was a... That's hard. That's hard to build up your economy. He does have... Nope, I thought he would take the tip spike. Daniel needs to take this tip spike. Jimmy has his tip spike though. Where's your other Tiberium field? Or, there's no... Second refinery from Daniel. Where's your other refinery? Okay, Jimmy has choppers now already. Jimmy can already come. Okay, let's see what Feist is doing. Okay, Feist has already a significant ground force now. That's the um, that's the weakness of steel talents in the beginning is because the players tend to make titans and wolverines you don't have any anti-air so Jimmy can already hit Vice real hard right now with with these choppers but then he'll need at least four because the three won't won't do enough Daniel just has no economy there it is okay his second refinery is up and running but he really needs two more at least two more harvesters to help him out where are the other harvesters? Did he already lose that? Oh, maybe I missed something. I think... I think Matthew took out some of his harvesters with the bike rush. I missed it. I missed it. Let's take a look at Daniel's money. Oh, Daniel's already crippled from the very beginning. Jimmy's... Daniel, yeah, he's crippled. Daniel's crippled, has no money. Ah, uh, okay, he does have one. You have one. You do have one harvesters over here. It's not full though, so Daniel will have to wait a while for cash. And while he's waiting, he is very vulnerable right now. Daniel's very vulnerable right now. Ooh. That's really, really dangerous. So it looks like Matthew is rebuilding. Or he is building his ground force. He already has enough to take out Daniel. He just doesn't know it yet. He doesn't know it yet. Where are those? Where are those bikes? I thought Daniel would, or I thought Matthew would make more bikes. Does Matthew have more bikes? He's sending his, he just has bikes over here. Four bikes. He can send it. He can send his bikes again. He should just swing around the back of his enemy base. Okay, Vice now making anti-air. 
Vice is saying, okay, I want this field. I think, I think that's what Vice is saying. There's another blue field up here that is already fully grown. Nobody taking it yet, but Matthew has a lot of money. So that's Matthew's strength right now. This is the big advantage because he has blue Tiberium. He has the cash and Daniel's just crippled. Oh, because he really needs to wait for this cash and what he needs to do is with this cash he needs to make more harvesters he really can't go for units right now he needs more harvesters so at this moment jimmy has to just cover for daniel until daniel is financially stable right now the best thing would be if jimmy moves up to the blue tiberium with his conyard drops his conyard over here so matthew can make another or so that daniel can make another refinery and that's the quickest way for him to recover because like this it'll take you minutes it'll take you precious minutes look so Matt, uh, so daniel is getting some money in but oh that's just i think let's take a look at what daniel's doing daniel is making i expect him to be making yeah there he is he's making harvest is just no money just no money oh man and that really hurts battle marker over here what was that okay so that's daniel's um rocket man he did go into the bunker like i said all right vice should be able to attack now and as soon as vice attacks does jimmy have a ground force to hold him off not a big enough ground force jimmy only has four choppers five choppers let's see how many harvesters jimmy has his first field no he still has enough on his first field jimmy should have two refineries here you have or three refineries you can have three refineries because this field is big you can have three refineries and six harvesters at least six harvesters getting to work on this first field so jimmy has one two three harvesters three four four harvesters Jimmy's over here took out some bikes did the bikes take out Daniel's remaining harvester oh no it looks like Matthew took out the remaining harvester of Daniel Daniel's completely crippled right now oh man completely crippled right now okay so Daniel's gonna move to Jimmy's base that's the only that's the only choice you have the only choice you have is to move to Jimmy's base and go over here he needs to go here oh man and then you need to just sell off everything that you have here and you have to congregate and start building in the same base it's just a mad <laughs> Matthew shadow teams he even stealth stealth is this base He's going for Venoms now, Matthew. He could have easily went for... Well, you could already win this game with just a bunch of bikes. Because there's no infantry on this side. Jimmy's got some Shatterer tanks. He's gonna go see what Vice has. But if you want to see what your opponent has, they should just send, should just send some scouts. I don't know if Jimmy did some, um, some radar scans. Maybe he did, but Vice already has a big enough army to attack Jimmy. Vice moving forward with some Wolverines. Let me just take a sip of my coffee. There it is. Vice is moving forward now. Even two behemoths is good enough. Two behemoths is good enough. Actually, this group is already good enough. Because the key is putting your opponent on the back foot. Once you have your opponent on the back foot, the chances are the victory is yours. Because if you keep them on the defense, at a certain point, their defense is going to buckle. There it is. Okay, so Jimmy comes forward with his hammerheads. But Vice counters with his slingshots to the front line. But Jimmy did take some two good kills. Jimmy did get two good kills. This is good from Jimmy. Two good kills, but now he has to move back. He has to move back. Let's see if his no ceramic armor. Oh, Jimmy really needs this ceramic armor. This ceramic armor is really what you need. This is a good move from Jimmy, by the way. This is a good move from Jimmy. Flanking Vice's forces with the Zone Shatterer on the right side. Good move from Jimmy over here. There it is, but his Zone Shatterers are too close to each other. Oh, it's too close to each other. You have to keep them apart. Keep them apart. 
because you know you're up against the behemoths. This is a good exchange from Vice and Jimmy. Very good exchange. Okay, so Jimmy losing hammerheads. Vice also losing units. Vice only has one more slingshot left. So Vice making more slingshots. This is good from Vice making slingshots. Matthew's gonna try to help him by making units in Vice's base. Ah, oh, Jimmy's taking heavy, heavy hurts over here. Heavy pain. There he is. And Matthew joins the battle with two Venoms. Are they upgraded? Of course, they're upgraded laser capacitors. Two Venoms. Matthew's gonna clear this extra protection that Jimmy has. Jimmy should have nothing. There's nothing in his base. Looks like the end of the match. So Daniel should be here already. All right, Daniel is here. Daniel is slowly building up that economy again. Where is your MCV? Daniel. Oh, he didn't move to Jimmy's base. He just went to the corner. And he, he does see... He does see the Tiberium Spikes now. He must be kicking himself in the beginning like, Oh, why didn't I see these spikes? But Matthew has eyes on this area. So, so Matthew knows the whole time what Daniel is doing. Daniel is building up that economy again. He doesn't have a war factory yet. So he can't make any vehicles to help Jimmy. Jimmy is under... Jimmy is under heavy pressure over here. Because Jimmy has no units at all. Okay, Matthew can just move in with his ground force and it's game over. Is there going to be some kind of miracle defense from Jimmy? More hammerheads coming out. But what he needs to do is just make base defense. Right now, you know they're coming. So just make base defense. It's not really going to do much once the behemoth... Oh, but Vice has no behemoths. Oh no, he does. Three behemoths up here. Matthew's here now. Knocking on Jimmy's doorstep. And he's saying, Tuck, 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 I'm here. Oh, even stealth tanks for Matthew. Jimmy's forces are gonna fall quickly by these, uh, these stealth tanks. But Jimmy might be able to take out one stealth tank. He's got one shatterer that took out all right. That's pretty good from Jimmy. Jimmy took out two stealth tanks. It's a good job. All these infantry fully upgraded. Okay, so Matthew went for more of an infantry force. Looks like Vice has his Marv on the field. Looks like the base defense. So Jimmy, what he needed to do here was make a watchtower, two watchtowers, and put them behind your war factory. Because this is not a big ground force. It's not a big ground force. It's just a lot of infantry that you can take out with with watchtowers. If Jimmy had three watchtowers, they would be able to take out this um, this infantry squad. Okay, here we go. Daniel is here. Daniel is not out. Okay, Jimmy has to sell this now. He has to sell this at least for money. Sell this for money. Yeah, he sells it at the last second. That's good. Good move from Jimmy. And Daniel is here. Daniel is helping Jimmy as much as he can, but he knows it's just to slow down this army because of course there's going to be a second wave and that's Vice. Vice going to fill up. Is he going to fill it up with rocket men? Looks like looks like he's going to fill it up with rocket men. No engineers? No, no, no. I think Vice is still waiting for his engineers. His behemoth. Vice should have already sent his behemoth forward because he knows that Matthew's army is still here. Matthew's army has not been destroyed yet. Okay, Jimmy making these watchtowers but you need to cover them up with buildings in front of your watchtowers or else your watchtower is going to be hit first. Ah, uh, there he goes. The watchtower drops. See? You see how much that one, that watchtower took out um, yeah, this infantry force? So if you had two more watchtowers... Okay, Daniel trying to help now. Daniel dropping a shredder turret trying to... Trying to thin out this infantry force over here. I thought... Okay, here we go. Battle marker over here. We have we have the shadow teams just placing bombs. He, he wants to take out this con yard all at once. <gasps> Daniel, just send your tanks forward. Daniel's got tanks. Daniel's got to send these tanks forward over here. Do it now. Oh, just do it now. You have some. Jimmy has zone raiders. You have an army over here. You can send them forward. You can send them forward. They're losing unnecessary uh, units and buildings up here because they have forces just chilling down here there you go okay so daniel decides to move his forces up over here i think i have to commend daniel from coming back after almost being dead 
he was pounded to the ground, but he still survives, and he even has forces to attack. Matthew should have ended this game a long time ago. And where are your support powers also? Matthew's got support powers, he could use those. Okay, so Matthew's entire frontal force is gone. Vice, where are you? Vice can already move forward now. Vice got a lot of anti-air. Vice is taking no risks with his units. He really wants to shoot down those helicopters. Look at how many slingshots he has. Vice is beaconing. They're still holding out. But that's why the reason why this army is not big enough is because of a lack of cash. Jimmy really... You just need to make more harvesters. That's, that's the only thing. More refineries, more harvesters. More money, more units. It's that simple. And once you have more money, you can just spam the rocket soldiers. So you'll have a bunch of rocket soldiers here to help you. You have your shatterer tanks, you have your hammerheads, you can even make double airfield. And then they'll be able to stop this army. Okay, the Venom Force of Matthew. I can't see exactly how many Venoms he has. He was almost able to kill the Harvester of Jimmy. He should have just killed it. Look. He would be able to kill it. I wonder what happened to the, the Shadow Team Force. Okay, the Shadow Team Force is over here. I. But Daniel... Because... Because his MCV was attacked once, then he should know that Matthew has shadow teams over here. Because this got attacked. So then he needs stealth detection. And then he needed to at least make a couple of bikes to detect the stealth. And Matthew has a big advantage just by having eyes on this base. He has a big advantage so he knows exactly what his opponents have. Battle marker over here. Vice is already here. As soon as Vice has his army here at the front line there's nothing to stop them this is just massive building killing force and this marv will not fall unless you have a significant amount of damage on your side jimmy's got three choppers but it's gonna take a long time and vice has a lot of slingshots nope so jimmy will see now he's he's, he's gonna encounter the anti-air And he knows there's not much you can do against this army, against Vice. The Steel Talon army on the ground is almost unmatched. Because Steel Talons have accounted for everything against air, against infantry. Vice doesn't have a lot of anti-infantry right here. So once you see that and once you quickly an uh, analyze that on the battlefield, then you have to trans... Um, yeah, then you should just change quickly into infantry. Just transition to infantry and fire on this uh, this force, but you need to have the cash, that's the problem. Okay, so once this is attacked, you just sell it off. Battle marker over here. Matthew should have attacked this base a long time ago. What's Matthew doing? So Matthew is just taking a sweet time making Venoms. You could have already made 10 avatars and finished the game. <laughs> Matthew wants to end it in style I guess with these specters. Vice is already here. Vice can just continue to steamroll forward. The tanks of Daniel moving forward but it's just it doesn't look like it's gonna help. It's not gonna help. It doesn't it doesn't help against behemoths. Especially when the Marv is here. Oh it's the beginning of the end. This was a heavy match for uh, for Daniel and Jimmy. Heavy match Steel Talons is just the hard side to beat. Oh, wow. Airfield of Jimmy drops. That's his main production for units. So, Jimmy loses his army. His base is going to fall in a few minutes. Vice just continue, just continuing to march forward and killing everything on his path. There's nothing here from Jimmy to be able to stop this. Matthew. Matthew's just waiting. <laughs> just relaxing he could already send his specters forward send your specters forward let's see if his uh the shadow teams can still blow up i think i think this is enough for the shadow teams to kill a war factory i think so i think so well yeah he has two an extra one here so he can at least take out the war factory 
but it looks like Matthew is just content letting Vice do all of the hard work in the front line. So Vice is just taking out Jimmy's units. Jimmy just sell off this conyard. It's not gonna last. Look at this barrage. Look at that barrage. Incredible barrage. Man, these behemoths. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. So if you quickly analyze this army, the only thing that will stop this army is mass infantry. Mass infantry is the only thing that will kill this army. Or you have to have just a lot of tanks that can get very, very close to these behemoths because these behemoths are going to kill your tanks from far. So you have to have quick tanks that will get in the face of this behemoth army. If I would have to estimate, you'll need maybe whoa, more than 15 to 20 tanks. 15 to 20 tanks, maybe more to take out all this behemoth because this marv will also be very hard to kill. So you'll need maybe 15 to 20 tanks plus you'll need to keep down this marv emp at all time. That's the only way to beat this army. But the tanks are not here. The infantry is not here. Or if you had a giant infantry squad of rocket men and maybe 10 tanks you would be able to divert all of the attention from the behemoths to your tanks so you'll lose tanks but your infantry will be able to kill off the behemoths quickly but you will need to EMP this Marv that's the only way to win Matthew just still building up his venom force his artillery and actually Daniel and Jimmy should just throw the towel in the ring there is no way back from this there is no army over here well, he, he would be able to EMP with these Raider buggies, but you also need to do damage, and there's just no damage. So, this is just a very slow end to the game. There he is. So you just have to sell off all these units or these structures. Once you know there's no way back, you just sell. That is the code of conduct. Let's see what this was oh, okay stealth tanks there you go this is Matthew with his nope 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 it's Daniel just selling everything Daniel knows already nope there's no way and Jimmy should also sell off now yeah Jimmy is um, he only has one more building left that's this one more building so I'm gonna end the video over here if this was uh well, it's a, it's a learning experience. It was very hard for Daniel in the beginning to, to build up his army. And I think, well, I know it's just because um, his economy just took a big hit in the beginning. He made too few harvesters in the beginning. Or I think I, think I missed the bike rush from, um, from Matthew that took out, I think, a couple of harvesters from Daniel. So then the lesson that's learned there is protect your harvesters. But everyone knows that. So, but... It was still interesting to watch, uh, and I hope you enjoyed. So see you next time on Fan CNC TV.